The president of these United States, Mr. Joe Biden. Good morning, Mr. Biden. Hey, it's great to be on the Newton Free Croc Show with scabies and baloney, man. <laughs> it's not even worth it. Is it? Hey, so glad that uh, to have you on the 94 Rock Morning Show again with Swabby Scholar and Mahoney. Uh, oh, for the God, time, yeah. love you. You know, I, just, I sure as heck hope you guys are going to do the right thing and hey, get your booster shots, man, especially baloney. You know, you know, baloney, he, he's immune compromised, isn't he? he he's intelligence compromised. I know that from talking to you. So you get the booster. Get the booster. Hey, listen, about this booster shot, who, who can get them first? Look, folks, here's the deal. You know, we already got a plan in place for who's, who gets booster priority. And it goes like this, man. If you're an American citizen at high risk, who re really old, kind of forgetful, you know, trouble with the cog, the, the, the ignition thing. Yeah, cognition. <laughs> yeah, and, and you happen to live at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, you go to the head of line. Oh, good. Uh, next eligible group, of course, be all senior citizens who bought an overpriced painting from my son Hunter. Oh, and, and that's followed by anybody who stole one of his laptops who was kind enough to return it, and so on and so on, man. And, and all you anti-vaxxers, I know, I know you got listeners out there. Now, if, it, if, if this is a, if it's approved... What's your next excuse, huh? You, you're waiting for pumpkin spice version? Come on, man. Get it already. Hey, 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 get it. Hey, listen, your approval rating and the vice president's approval rating have both experienced a pretty big drop lately, mainly due to your handling of the Afghanistan withdrawal and the Delta variant messaging. you got to have a comment on that, right? Okay, look, look, hey, let, let, let me address that for a second. You know, it may not look like it, but things are really going my way. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like the Tim Tebow. I'm getting all the chances in the world. Definitely not embarrassing myself in any way, shape, or form, man. Okay. Look, folks, you got to realize something, Jack. My Afghanistan policy, it's like, it's like fine wine. You know, or like trying to use a bathroom right after me. you got to let it breathe, man. you got to let things breathe. Okay. Don't, don't rush it. Don't rush it. But uh, that's, that's besides the point, man. Now, here, here's the deal. And this ain't hyperbole. President Harrison and I already got what? a plan in place to address our falling poll numbers. And that plan is change the subject to something else, like ice cream flavors. You can't beat mint chocolate chip for my money, man. I, I triple dog dare you. <laughs> Come on, what, what do you say there? Well, what, what, I, I, I like mint chocolate chip, man, but a significant portion of the country is not happy with how you're running things on a number of levels. Hey, listen, what we're doing, oh, hold on a second. We're, we're dealing with some tricky problems here. One day you learn... You'll learn that these are just some circumcisions that are beyond my control, man. Yeah, it's, it's just like I always say. Approval ratings are like a report card from the American people. You know, sometimes you're an honor student. Other times you get an F, and you've you got to run really fast out to the mailbox before your parents get home, change it to a B. Yeah, well, okay, back to the COVID topic for a second. What would you say to the people, I don't know, for example, down in Mississippi, who are using this veterinary drug, Invermectin, meant for horses to prevent or treat COVID? Okay, look, look, let me explain something about the thing there. You know, now, look, I don't judge anybody. I don't judge anybody, okay? My job is just to urge everybody to use caution, consult your doctor first. Consult your doctor. But it's like, it's like I said to Hunter, if you want to give your horse pills... Uh, that's none of my business, because everyone has a right to be protected, man. <laughs> horse pills! Horse pills! <laughs> that's what I said. Is there an echo in here, Jack? Come on. Come right. on, man. Hey, look, Mr. President, it seems like now you're dealing with one crisis after another. What's the latest on the tropical storm that landed in Rhode Island and moved up the East Coast? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm happy to report that emergency crews are doing a fine job, and damage could have been a lot worse if old Tropical Storm Horny was still a hurricane. Uh, that's Henri. It's spelled Henri, but it's pronounced okay. Henri. No, nobody likes to know it all, man, okay? You know, as my mother used to say, smart Alex don't get dessert. God rest her soul. But I, I thank you for pointing that out. And I, I also thank our lucky stars and all the great people from FEMA you know, the female estrogen menstrual agents all what? got there so quick to help out. <laughs> That's the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Come on. Well, it's like I keep repeating myself here, man. What's, and you know what? I heard New York got lucky, too, and they, they didn't get it hit too hard. But and God bless Governor Andrew Cuomo. You know, he, he was prepared, you know, even on his way out. He was showing everybody how if the flooding got real bad, you could just grab onto your buxom young assistant and use her as a flotation device, Jack. <laughs> yeah, somehow that's not... Hey, I, I, and look at that. There's the warm line. What? I have a feeling uh, I know who's on the other line. Come uh, on, and, man. This is my intervention. Uh, I, I know, but let, let me... Uh, hi, uh, warm line. 
Hello, guys, and Skyler. Ciao, Bella. Can I crash at your mountain retreat, gorgeous, for a couple of nights? I may need a place to stay. Hard pass on that one. Uh, right, okay. Uh, hey, uh, Governor Cuomo, how are things in Albany now that you're done? It all seems so avoidable to end things the way you did. Come on. You know, you don't know the pressure I was under, Swami. You know, trying to pack boxes, label them correctly, while at the same time groping beautiful, strong, intelligent women that work for the great state of New York. New York tough, I like to call them. Even the ladies from the moving company I hired. You know, they may have been a little rough around the edges and built like Sherman tanks, but I have to admit, the jumpsuits those broads were wearing when they carried all my office furniture out to the truck, pretty form-fitting, yeah. and I have to say... I know about alterations because I'm Italian. Yeah. Not old. <laughs> yeah. you know, I didn't know you could actually have boobs and pecs at the same time. Did Skylar know that? It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, I read that commuting prison sentences was like your final act as governor before you left office Monday night. True? Yes, that's right. I was grabbing some clementi or granting some clemency. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They were lining up to have me grant them some clemency, especially those prison chicks. My oh. Hey, hey, Mr. President, I'm sorry, but we got another call coming in here. What's, Hold what's on a sec. What's going on now, man? I don't what? know. I don't know. Oh, hello. First Andy, and now who? I, I don't, hey, who's this? Swami Poo, Skylar Babe. I have never oh, been God. better, sweetie. <laughs> oh, it is so good to be back on with you and that dreamboat Mahoney. That tall drink of water. Is he busy screening calls or something? Yeah. Uh, I bet he's blushing. Yep. Is he blushing, Swami? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Tell me. Next time you're on Tinder, Mahoney doll, please stay on my profile. Don't you dare swipe right. Hey, yeah. oh. hey Caitlin, we hear congratulations are in order. Uh, your daughter Kylie's pregnant now with her second child, and you're going to become a grandmother for what, like the 19th time? Can you believe it? And we have absolutely no idea how many baby daddies that adds up to. <laughs> Nobody right. can keep track. Yeah. 19 ninos and counting. <laughs> I think Rob Kardashian might have had a couple of them. He always looks kind of pregnant, am I right? Yeah, all right, a little bit, yeah. But seriously, this is just so exciting, and I cannot wait until I get a chance to babysit the little angel and try and see if I can breastfeed, because oh. I'm lactating right now just thinking about it. <laughs> I think it. now's a pretty damn good time to stop. So uh, thanks for calling, Caitlin. Uh, former Governor Cuomo and, uh, Ciao, Bella. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> former president, or uh, current President Biden, I'm sorry. Hey, you know, all this talk about breast milk makes me want to go get an ice cream cone, man. What do you say? <laughs>